So after my calculation of the delta H and delta S, we are ready to um, we are ready to calculate delta G. So let me write down the value of delta H that we have just calculated. Delta H in this case is negative 537.22 kilojoules, and delta S is 13.74 joules per Kelvin, okay, and um, and the temperature temperature that we are going to have uh, in the front of the paper, I said that I'm going to assume all the reactions is carried out at 25 degrees Celsius. Now, here is what you need to pay attention. the The question is going to tell you the, the, the temperature in degrees Celsius, but remember that we need to change it to Kelvin. So we add 273, so you would get 298 Kelvin. Okay, and the equation for delta G is delta H minus T delta S. Now in this step, parentheses becomes extremely, extremely important, and you will see why. So delta H is 5, negative 5, 37.22 kilojoules. Make sure you include the unit even in the step. And then I'm going to subtract that with um, with the temperature times the delta, the delta S. Delta S is 13.74 joules over Kelvin. Now, so this is how I set up the equation. But uh, one thing that I mentioned in class is you have to pay attention to the temperature. We have to change it to Kelvin. And the other one that we need to be aware of is the unit of the energy. On the left, we have kilojoules, and on the right, we have joules. And they cannot subtract each other unless they have the same unit. And in this case, I am going to change it change the joule to kilojoules because in this case it's easier for us to uh, to write doing our calculations and I'm at the end I'm going to express the answer in kilojoules so let me rewrite this part minus 298 Kelvin and I'm going to divide this number by a thousand because one k one kilojoules is equal to a thousand kilojoules so I divide by divide that by a thousand, so I would get 0 0.01374 kilojoules per Kelvin. Now this is kilo, this is Kelvin, they don't cancel out. But this Kelvin and with this temperature, Kelvin, they cancel out. Okay. And uh, I'm going to calculate the uh, the the right portion this portion with my calculator so 298 times 0 0.1374 I would get 4.09452 kilojoules and then I'm going to um, have this operation so negative 537.22 minus 4.09452 my answer is negative 541.31 okay I'm just I'm just going to take two decimal places and my unit is kilojoules which matches my answer right here Okay. Now, a couple of things to uh, to address is when you have a negative value of enthalpy, the change of enthalpy, it is telling you that it is an exothermic reaction. When you have a positive number right here for the uh, change of entropy, is telling you that it is becoming the system is becoming more disordered. Okay, and when we calculate delta G, and we hear have a value which is a negative value and this negative value tells you that this reaction is going to be 
spontaneous. Okay, so these are the conclusion that I would expect you to get out from the out from the uh, out from the uh, calculations. Okay, and uh, I hope this tutorial will help you out, and uh, you can use this as a guiding, um, as a guide to uh, get you through the calculations. All right.